Good day, everyone. This is Chris of the Ancient Scholar, and today what I'm going to do is just a quick uh, or brief introduction to a uh, therapeutic modality that you run into, particularly as respiratory therapists, uh, but, you know, as any, any medical profess professional that works around uh, acutely or critically ill patients, and that is the uh, modality known as bronchoscopy. Uh, bronchoscopy involves the use of something known as a bronchoscope. And I'll just go ahead and introduce you guys to the bronchoscope. A bron bronchoscope is a fiber optic device that um, has a little camera on the end of it and a little uh, porthole for the provider to uh, view through. Now, the more of the modern um, bronchoscopes actually have a connector that connects to a large video screen, and typically when bronchoscopies are performed, uh, the providers can look at a large video screen as opposed to actually having to look at it. This is a kind of a little older setup, but it still functions just the same. Um, so at the end of the bronchoscope, there are some lights. Let's see here. Uh, you see a series of uh, two lights, a camera, and then there's a large hole, and that hole allows us to do a couple of things that I'll talk about. Um, we look at the scope. Um, some of the major components of the scope, you have a little uh, thumb a thumb lever here, and what that does is that allows you to move and maneuver the scope around uh, when you have it in um, side of the body. Uh, some of the other uh, things that you have, you have a little port here, and you can open this up, and this port allows you to instill medications. For example, if I uh, maybe have a little bit of bleeding and I want to instill some epinephrine in there, I simply hook my syringe up, inject the medication, and the medication is going to come out of this hole here, and I can instill medications um, through that. Uh, I can also insert different instruments. Uh, this just happens to be what's known as a cytology brush um, type of instrument, and uh, this allows you to um, collect samples of uh, if you want to biopsy lung tissue or even if you have foreign bodies or mucus plugs in there this allows you to take them out and you can see it has a little clamp on there it opens and closes some of these have little brushes some of these have little suction catheters and whatnot um, so they come in all kinds of shapes um, and sizes and allow you to do different things so basically the way it works is you simply insert this in here and you'll see it come out of the end here fairly quickly. There we go, it comes out of the end. And then you can go ahead and you know collect a sample of whatever. You know, pull it back out and you have your sample. Uh, some other things that you can do with this is you can hook suction up to it. And I'll go ahead and grab a little uh, suction tubing here. You want to go ahead and close this off and you can kind of see the little connector here. You connect your suction here, and then I have a little button right here, and I can actually suction the airway. So, uh, so you know, some let's say we you know we have some secretions or whatever, or perhaps I'm going in for a mucus plug. You know, I can go ahead and instill some mucumist in there, break that break that uh, mucus plug up, and then go ahead and suction stuff out or suction to clear my field so I can get a good view. Um, so there are lots of different things that you can do with a bronchoscope. What I want to do is I just want to show you how we can also insert the bronchoscope into a patient who is um, intubated, and we do that through a little adapter like this. And the way this works is, I actually have a back valve mask, but the, normally the patient would be on a ventilator if they're intubated, is the ventilator would be connected here, and then this will go ahead and connect to uh, the patient. And what you have is you have a port right here. And I'll go ahead and show you a little a bigger view of this device. And we'll zoom in. And if you open this port up, you can see that it's kind of rubberized and it makes a seal. Well, that's real handy because what I can do is I can do my bronchoscopy on an intubated patient. And I can maintain a seal so I don't have leaking. You can see the, the bronchoscope will insert through there. I can continue ventilating the patient, I have a seal, I continue to ventilate and oxygenate, and I'm not losing a significant amount of um, air or pressure if I have a pressurized um, circuit uh, through that way. Um, so that is the basic, those are the basic components 
of uh, a bronchoscopy setup. Uh, some other things, you may add something called a Lucan's trap that adds, uh, it's uh, connected into your suction tubing and it allows you to obtain uh, samples of the material that you suction out of the patient's uh, lungs. Um, I should also say that a bronchoscope uh, requires some sort of element. Here's again, kind of old school. I turn it on, has a light source and the fiber optic element of the bronchoscope actually plugs in to that light source here, like so. Plugs in, it snaps, I turn it on, and now I have light coming out of the end of the bronchoscope here, and I can actually um, increase or decrease the uh, brightness of that light as needed. Okay guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, after I finish up here, I'll show you a quick view of me actually inserting the bronchoscope. It's really kind of hard to see. The camera had a hard time focusing, but you should be able to see um, the uh, carina and the right and left main stem bronchi. Um, again, it's a little, little hard to see. Uh, had some issues focusing, but uh, that should be what you see. Okay, guys, um, this is the end of your introduction to uh, bronchoscopy. I hope you enjoyed this and hope it made sense. As always, thanks for hanging in there.